Hey baby girls, ¿qué onda? ¿Cómo están? I hope everyone is doing super super well today. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to be working with Dolce Vita and Baby Girl. Those are the two acrylics we're going to be using. And I will be working with another one, but that's just a mix that I made. I used bombshell, a little bit of clear, and um, one of our hot pink acrylics. I think it was spice girls or something that i mixed in there to create a super like deep darker uh nudie pink i feel like bomb nails needs a super dark pink um because you know those are like baddie colors you know what i mean we already have baddie nude but that's more like a peachy um type of nude darker nude you know what i mean we need a darker pink one so I'll be working on that, you guys. I promise because I do need one in my collection. So, okay. So, we're also going to be working with duct tips. Um, we will soon be having duct tips up on the website um, for anybody who wishes to purchase them. I know duct tips is not for everyone. I know that there's kind of like... I personally have a love and hate relationship with them. Um... I feel like when I go through the pictures and when I go through, you know, Instagram and I see all these baddie uh, designs and stuff, I'm like, girl, I, I gotta I gotta do something like that. But once I'm sitting down, you guys, and actually working on them and doing them, they're so hard to do, you guys. They're like so hard to create, not the acrylic application, but more so the uh, whole filing process of it all it took me literally like a whole ass hour to finish <laughs> filing them and i was like so over it when i was like through filing them you guys which i didn't even record if you guys want a video on how i you know shape and all that let me know in the comments um if you want a shaping process to duct tips because honestly you guys it's a lot of shaping let me just tell you it's a lot of shaping a lot of filing and just a lot of um i would say just perfecting the shape because uh, these these are just so different you guys is this style of nails is just so different from literally anything that i've done before and i need to get used to them i'm I think I'm getting the shape down a little more, but I need a little more practice. Um, but yeah, again, this is not for everybody, you guys. These nails are not for everyone, and I totally understand that. I totally get that, um, which is okay. Um, I just felt like I need to step out of my comfort zone, you know, more here on the channel because I feel like things have been getting so repetitive lately, you guys, that, you know, you a lot of you want to watch just different things, you know what I mean? Just different designs, different shapes. Um, I don't really do batty nails or like junk nails like these. And I saw these on Instagram, so we're going to be recreating them. And I'm, I was so excited to do them, you guys, to be honest, because again, this is not my comfort zone at all. Like, I'm literally stepping out of my comfort zone with these nails with these designs because this is just not me this is just not bomb nails but hey we're, i'm here for it and i'm down for it and here we are today so yeah baby girls um we're also using our number 16 kolinsky brush which is available on the website right now um we will soon be restocking um our old brushes so don't worry about that uh, in case you guys been wanting to get some of the brushes and you guys haven't found the one that you're looking for don't worry they'll soon be back in stock um and yeah so we're gonna go ahead and do the two middle nails which is the ring finger and the middle nail are gonna be like that darker pinky nudie color that that i mixed myself and then on the index nail we went ahead and did an ombre using baby girl with uh, dolce vita and then on the pinky now we're gonna be working with another ombre with dolce vita and the little pinky mixture that i made um and then i'm gonna go back to my thumb and we're gonna be working with 
baby girl and the mixture that i created it's just the whole mixture of everything here and you know um and that's pretty much what i saw on the actual design you guys it's not exactly the same let me just tell you but i tried my best to recreate this baddie design again because i don't know i just felt like doing something so out of my comfort zone so I'm going to go ahead and just finish uh, ombreing this part here and then we're going to go ahead and move on to our thumb. Yes, our thumb. <laughs> Which I regularly never, never, ever record my thumb, you guys. Um, but I don't know, I just felt like recording it, th recording it this time just because, again, it's just kind of like a mixture of everything, you know what I mean? Like, we did, um, it was just like, how can I say this? like a mixed match of all of the colors on all of the nails it was this is what the design was you guys so yeah we're gonna go ahead and just finish doing the little ombre here as well and then we're gonna be moving on to capping and now i did leave in the capping process for only one of the nails which is pretty much the same thing for all of the nails but i went ahead and left it because you know these are different nails this is a duct tip so i really wanted you guys to kind of see how i capped everything um which is pretty much it's the same process you guys literally as if you were capping a stiletto as if you were capping a coffin or a squared literally um but i just wanted to kind of show you what i did now i it did take me a few more beats than usual but i got it down um but yeah you guys i'm gonna go ahead and cap by the way i am using my crystal clear acrylic with my monomer which are still in stock um, in case you guys want to get your hands on the monomer, it's still in stock, you guys. You guys may go in and purchase that right now. Um, everything else, our Easter collection sold out, but we do have some of the colors still in stock. Um, I really don't know if that one will be coming back uh, throughout the year. It might. I really don't know, you guys. I don't think so. Uh, maybe until next year, of course, we'll be restocking that because, you know, Easter is already this Sunday. So, I mean, those colors, you could pretty much use them throughout the year. All year round, you can use those colors and they're beautiful for even like um, summer. Um, but, you know, I don't know, you guys. So I might just restock it till next year. You know how it is with bomb nails. Um, I usually just restock once or twice, maybe if I see that the demand is a lot, then I'll restock two times. But um, this time around, I'm just gonna wait till next year. Um, you guys know that if it's the Valentine's collection, um, I'll just leave it during Valentine's and then restock it the following year, and so on and so forth. Like the same with the rest of the with the um collections for example the ones that uh i have like a lot of then i would just leave it up on the website you guys for example like the 90s collection is literally about to sell out you guys i feel like we only have like two or three colors in stock right now but the rest are already sold out the 90s collection you guys that one is not coming back i am so sorry but that one is not coming back you guys know that that is from our old uh, supplier and um just things were not going good with that supplier yes it was like a good collection and the consistency and everything was good but i'm not working with them anymore so yeah i'm gonna have to pass on that and then what else yeah that's pretty much it that's not gonna come back you guys so whatever's left is left if you guys haven't gotten your hands on whatever color or whatever go and get it right now some of the colors are still in stock i believe lime wire um hey arnold is still in stock uh nick splat <sighs> i think those are the only ones that are in stock right now literally but yeah baby girls um another thing i'm just waiting for the pastel collection to arrive um some of the collections or glitter collections some of the things will be back in stock next month because i just want to restock on the kawaii collection on the pastel collection because a lot of you have been asking me for those you guys so i really need to restock on those so next month we will be doing that and of course i will keep you guys posted when everything is up on the website um and then the following month we're gonna have new things up on the website and i cannot wait but yeah girls um that's 
yeah those are the news for bomb nails <laughs> and now we're gonna move on to the actual design i left the filing process out as i had mentioned at the beginning let me know if you guys want a separate video on how i you know shape and file and all this on this type of nails you guys because honestly it's a lot it's a lot it literally took me like an hour like literally a whole ass hour trying to shape these babies because honestly it's not just like you, you know there it's a lot you guys it's a lot um if i do make a video of course i'll i will you know go a lot more into detail about how i did it how i filed and everything um but yeah i left that out <laughs> But yeah, so for the actual design, we're going to go ahead and use pink, orange, and purple for this particular design. Now, these gel polishes, I don't have them on the website. Um, hopefully, in a few months or for summer, we will be having a gel neon collection on the website. I'm working on that currently, you guys, because I want more gels uh, for the website. You know what I mean? I feel like Bomb Nails doesn't really have gel colors like that so i i'm working on adding more of that to the website so yeah um these are just random gel polishes i feel like these were from amazon or something uh from a um, liner collection that i got a few months back not even like a few years back and um yeah i'm gonna be using the purple the pink and the orange and we're gonna be also using our my 20 mm liner brush for the frenchies that we're gonna be creating so for that um i'm just gonna go ahead and do kind of like a v french and then just kind of co connect them together and make like a little u make sure it's nice and um it's not crooked or anything you know so i'm gonna go ahead and do the little french with this and then i'm gonna go ahead and grab a like a super like a nail art brush or something like a flat brush and we're gonna go ahead and fill out the whole frenchy part Okay, so here comes the actual scary part of the design to me because we're going to be doing um, or working with the, what's it called? Sprayer? No. Airbrush? Airbrush machine. That's a sprayer. What? <laughs> no, you guys, we're going to be working with an airbrush machine. And um, I had this airbrush machine for like a year already and I've never used it because I've been so scared of it, to be honest. Um, but the design that, you know, I chose for today's video had some of that, you know, like a little ombre going on with gels and stuff. So I really had to bring this baby out. So I'm like, you know what? I guess let's just go for it. So yeah, I went ahead and mixed in a little bit of gel with a little bit of acetone. It's more acetone. I mean, it's more gel than acetone, to be honest. I tried it with just a little bit of gel and I was making a mess, you guys. Let me just tell you. I'm brand new to this. I've never even done it in my life. Um, but I believe, you guys, to be on the safe side, I'm going to have to go on Amazon and buy the actual um, like paints for this type of stuff. I think it's acrylic paint for airbrushes, um, for airbrush machines. And you're not supposed to use gel, you guys. I'm going to be just honest, you guys. But that's just what I had now. And I had to work with what I, with what I had at the moment. Um, but I, I am going to go on Amazon and purchase some of those paints just to be on the safe side. And, you know, there's no dermatitis or anything like that. Oh, my God, you guys. I'm so scared of that. So, yeah, I need to go on Amazon to purchase those like today. Um, because it was so fun to use this little airbrush machine after I kind of got, got the hang of it and stuff. It was like so freaking fun to use. So I think I need to go and purchase those little um, nail arts or I think it's acrylic paint or something. I don't know you guys. I need to go and figure it out. But they sell them on Amazon. Now we're going to go in with our um, black gel polish and we're going to be doing some little um animal print i did some zebra print and some cheetah print um the cheetah prints we're going to be doing over here on the ring finger and uh, that's pretty much what we're going to be doing for the actual nail art
okay so now we're gonna be adhering all of the charms i kind of um you know try to pick out from my charms what was pretty much close to what the actual design had so i didn't have all of them you guys i wish i did i need to purchase more charms like hello kitty charms and all those um because i really don't have any of those uh but yeah i try to pick out the the ones that were closest to it or to the design and we're gonna go ahead and adhere them here onto the nail um by the way i will be using my big bondini glue for this okay to adhere them um it's just a whole bunch of charms you guys there's cherries there's hello kitties there's a little bow there's the little planets um the little machine gun or whatever i don't even know what it is <laughs> to be honest um and then what else what else oh yeah the little barbie the little playboy bunny you know there's a whole bunch of charms you guys and these are literally like junk nail baddie nails or baddie nail junk nails i don't even know what they're called you guys but it's something like that and i'm so down for these type of designs you guys so if anybody has an inspo i don't know something that you want me to recreate Go ahead and send it to me over on Instagram and I don't know you guys, maybe I'll be able to recreate it. So let me know. Let me know what you guys want to see more of, you know, I really want to know because I feel like sometimes things do get a little repetitive over time and I don't know, you guys get bored of the same old, same old, you know, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish just adhering all of these uh charms you guys can add any charms that you have honestly i was just trying to recreate it the best that i could and these are pretty much the charms that i had in hand so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and just finish here um adhering all of the charms and then we're gonna move on to top coating And of course, for our top coat, we're going to go ahead and top coat using our big boy shiny top coat. Um, this is an amazing top coat, you guys. I cannot tell you this enough. I know that I maybe rave about it like so much, but this is my holy grail. I love this top coat. So we're going to go ahead and just go around all of the little charms and stuff just so that it doesn't look weird. You know what I mean? I don't know. That's just me. That's my personal preference. And these are going away as soon as I'm done with the video. So there's no need for me to even top coat the charms. If you want to protect them, I think that maybe adding a little bit of top coat on top of them will protect them from like water and, you know, everyday uses. So, yeah. But in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and go around um, all of the little charms. And this is the end result of the whole design or the whole recreation. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I really hope you guys liked it personally. Um, they've started to grow in me. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> They're a little hard to use because I did keep them for maybe like an hour or so after I was completely done with them. And they are pretty like they're hard to use you guys for an everyday you know use i girl if you've been wearing these every day 
props to you because honestly uh, i just couldn't i don't know you guys so let me know in the comment section what you guys think let me know how i did thank you so much for being here i will see you guys here on the next one stay safe god bless and bye bye